Welcome to Classical 95.9 WCRI's Conducting Conversations with your host, Mike Mano. One hour of music and conversation with notable people in the arts, bringing you the stories of how music has impacted their lives. The show will give a behind-the-scenes look at the guest's background, interests, or special project. Conducting Conversations is brought to you by Roberts Musical Instruments. From sheet music and brand name instruments to rentals, repairs, lessons, and more, Roberts Musical Instruments is your key to musical success. Call 823-5459. That's 823-5459. And now here's your host, Mike Mayno. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Conducting Conversations. Tonight, it's a pleasure to welcome back into our studios long timers the mystic river corral we have representatives and that includes the artistic director frank zanolini is here frank nice to have you back with us hey great to be back mike and kit foster is here kit nice to see you again yes great to be here kit you are now no longer president you've served your what 28 years as president and uh <laughs> Now you're the mar- a marketing kind of guy, right, for the Mystic well, Corral? Well, I, I, I manage the, the campaign, uh, what we call a campaign for the corral that, that supports uh, our music, uh, enabling us to do all of the things that, that we, we would like to do. Uh, that there's a lot that has to go into uh, putting everything uh, together and making sure the finances are there, so that, that's, so that, that Frank keeps coming back to direct you, right? So so that so that so that we can we can keep uh, keep Frank uh, uh, a part of a living for Frank, and that we can hire musicians, uh, uh, instrumentalists, and so on in order to have a uh, have a full concert. Uh, keep, keep things going. Yeah. Uh, uh, music is an art, but uh, it also takes a business to support uh, that art. You got that right, Frank. And you're, uh, you've been, what now, about four or five years uh, through the pandemic, right? Yeah, uh, as an art- artistic director, uh, I think it's been three at this point. Uh, oh, but I've been with the Corral since 2016, uh, 2016 in some capacity. Yeah. Well, I know you've been around for a while. You, <laughs> you were there when the other Frank was uh, the director. Yeah, it was the changing of the Franks. The changing of Franks from Martin Yeti, <laughs> so M to Z. Uh, but uh, your full-time gig is not obviously the director of the Mystic River Corral. You do other things. Yeah, I'm director of music at South Church in New Britain. Uh, it has a wonderful long tradition of great choral music, um, and I have a wonderful group of people that I get to work with there, um, you know, week in and week out. Well, that's a good thing when you have, uh, when, it's, when it's more or less, I don't want to say fun, because maybe that's not the right <laughs> term, but it's pleasurable, right? Oh, it's usually a bit of both. Okay, well, that's a good thing. Well, we're here today to talk about the upcoming concert, which is going to be on Sunday, May 7th at the Mystic Congregational Church, and it's 4 o'clock on Sunday, May 7th, and it's called The Gift of Days. And uh, Frank, is something you came up with, or who put this together? Yeah, well, this this was really, um, over the last year, there's just been a lot of interesting and different changes um, in, in my own life and in the life of the people around me. And it really felt like I needed to pay some tribute to to uh, the phases and the the stations in life that we all uh, move through. Stages of life. And so that, are you trying to give us a clue or are you just going to, some, you've just, you be, you won the lottery and that's what changed your life? (laughs) Yeah, not quite. Uh, Actually, it's it's a little, a little sadder than that. Um, uh, We lost our, uh, my grandfather this past year. And uh, it's just a lot of thinking about, about various places that, that you find yourself as you Mm -hmm. go from wherever it is that you start to wherever you find, um, you know, that last place. Sure. All right. And the memories that go along with it and that's all right. of the emotions that, that go along with that. The music selection, that's all part of that general theme? Yeah, it's all, you know, me working out my my feelings and psychoses and all of that. <laughs> okay. Now, the corral itself uh, meets weekly. Um, is that correct, Kip? Yeah, that's right. We, uh, we rehearse uh, every Monday evening during the season. Um, and, of course, leading up to a concert it gets more intense and it's it's more than just uh, more than just weekly but so you so you meet weekly and then you lead up to may 7th then you have the concert and then you go on a world tour or take a little time off <laughs> um we um we take off 
for the summer mostly and convene again in September when we work up for our uh, our winter concert, which is as uh, has been in uh, January, uh, and it, something that works out for us uh, for our our singers and and yeah. the, the instead what's of having what surrounds us uh, as uh, we uh, we do some community sing during the holiday season. But we don't have a concert at that time because right. there are lots of concerts at that time. So we so that gives we, it, yeah. we 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 save that energy and put that into January when people are longing for some idea. something some uh, really moving and uh, and emotional stuff. Be it uh, be it uh, uh, a, a, uh, a major uh, major choral work or something new and interesting. All right. Frank, uh, I'm sure you already have in mind what's going to happen in January, but we don't want to divulge that now. <laughs> Let's concentrate on May and uh, the gift of days. And uh, tell us about the music that you brought with us today. Well, the music uh, for today, uh, some of it is looking back at the concert that we performed in January. Um, we did the Vivaldi Gloria, and we did a, a setting of the Miserere by uh, Jan Dismas Zelenka, uh, the Czech Bach, quote-unquote. Um, and then looking ahead uh, to May, we are uh, we're presenting just a mixed eclectic program um, that just sets various different ideas and moods. All right. Well, what do you have for us first? Okay. First up is uh, the Gloria and Et Intera Pax of uh, Antonio Vivaldi. <laughs> Thank you. 
Frank, you brought a lot of music along with you, so we're going to attempt to get most of it in. <laughs> uh, we played those first two tracks, and now we have two more coming up before we take our first break. What will these two be? That's right. We're still uh, on Vivaldi and the Gloria, and this is the Domine Fili movement and the Cum Sancto Spiritu movement that closes the work. We will listen to those two, then take a short break and be back with more of the Mystic River Chorale.
The Mystic River Corral is the subject of tonight's Conducting Conversations. I'm Mike Mano, pleased to be sitting with Frank and Kit as we discuss their upcoming concert next, uh, let's see, next month, May 7th, 4 o'clock at the Mystic Congregational Church. And uh, you want to make sure you get tickets for that. Can they can they do that in advance, Kit? Can they do that on the website? Uh, absolutely. Uh, if you go to mysticrivercorral.org, um, there's a, a facility there where you can uh, you can order your tickets and uh, uh, have them uh, for you as you arrive at the concert. Excellent. And if so some people don't plan ahead, do you think there's still a possibility that they can get in the door without and buy tickets at the door? Oh, yes, we do sell tickets at the door, and we have never, ever turned anyone away from our concerts. So, All right. So well, even if it's, it's heavily subscribed, we'll <laughs> squeeze you in somehow. We'll squeeze you in. Well, that's a good thing about a lot of churches. You can always squeeze another person in, right? <laughs> <laughs> I've been in some church shows where the 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 priest said, oh, by the way, our sanctuary seats uh, 580 people. And I said, well, we sold 700 tickets. He says, we'll get them in. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, So hopefully that'll be the case for, for your event on May 7th. And we're talking to Frank about the music that he has selected. And the name of the concert is The Gift of Days. And if you look on the website, it then says A Life's Journey. So it's uh, part of what Frank was describing in that first set about some of the changes in his life that he's gone through and changes we all go through, right, Frank? That's right. It's the kind of thing where every day you never know what uh, what 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 tomorrow brings. Essentially, yeah. <laughs> and so you found some music to go along with that. We listened in the first part to um, music that you had performed before. Right. And uh, we, is that going to be the case here? Uh, this actually uh, comes from a couple of different recordings. Um, one of them is from the church choir that I grew up in, the uh, First Presbyterian Church in New York City. Um, and then the second piece is uh, Paul Hillier and His Majesty's Clerks, and they're both uh, William Billings. Oh. The first is a short Advent anthem called Hopkinton, and the second is a setting of the uh, classic psalm text, They That Go Down to the Sea, and it is called Eurocladon. No.
music and uh, we want to make sure we get as much in as possible so I'll let you introduce these next three pieces. All right, following along in the grand tradition of American choral music, um, we have three spiritual settings. Uh, one, the first is Elijah Rock by Moses Hogan. This also is the First Presbyterian Church Choir in the city of New York. The second is Keep Your Lamps and that is Andre Thomas and this is the Choir of St. Olaf's. And the third is Ezekiel Saw the Wheel, arranged by William Dawson, and again, the First Presbyterian Church Choir in the city of New York. We'll listen to those, take another short break, and be back with more. Oh, Elijah, 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 Come on, sister, help me to pray. Tell me, my Lord, don't pass this way. Elijah Rock, 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 Thank you. 
Gift of Days is the title of the concert being given by the Mystic River Chorale on Sunday, May 7th, 4 o'clock at Mystic Congregational Church. That's what we've been talking about. I'm Mike Mayno. Please be sitting with Kit and Frank as we discuss the concert and some of the music that is going to be presented. And Kit, one more time uh, on the website for people that want to get tickets to this great event. That's right. It's very simple, mysticrivercorral.org. It will tell you all about us, uh, about the concert coming up, and you can order your tickets online. Right. And if you order before midnight tonight, you get an 8 by 10 of Kit. No, that's probably not <laughs> correct. Right but but uh, check out the website and, and support this wonderful group. Frank, uh, great to see you again. We don't have a whole lot of time left, so let's get right to these next two pieces. All right. This goes back to our concert in January again, where we did the Miserere by uh, Jan Dismas Zelenka. And this is the first and third movement, the Miserere and the Gloria Patri. The third movement features soprano Sarah Asmar.
Well, Frank, I want to thank you for bringing beautiful music to our audience today and look forward to this performance, which is going to be Sunday, May 7th at the Mystic Congregational Church. We've got a couple more pieces to listen to. But before we do that, thanks, Kit. I wanted to thank you for coming back again. To oh, it's always a pleasure, Mike. Nice to see you. Hopefully we'll be doing this many more times over the years. And Frank, uh, as well, nice to see you, and I wish you all the best in this uh, calming period after Easter, as <laughs> they say. For someone in your business, I know that it's a bit, a, been a bit hectic. Uh, the understatement. Thanks so much for having us, Mike. It's always a pleasure to be here. Great to have you. What's these uh, last two pieces we're going to hear? All right. These last two pieces close out the Zelenka Miserere. This is the choral Gloria as opposed to the solo that you just heard. And then the closing Sicut Erat in Principio. Don't forget that's going to be Sunday, May 7th at the Mystic Congregational Church, 4 o'clock on the Sunday afternoon. Go to mysticrivercorral.org and get your tickets and support this group. And we'll see you next time on Conducting Conversations.
Conducting Conversations was brought to you by Roberts Musical Instruments, using music and the arts to keep your child educated, entertained, and having fun. Roberts Musical Instruments is your key to musical success. Call 823-5459. That's 823-5459.